In this video, we're going to be talking about how to complete the square. There are four general steps and five if your A value is not one. So let's start with that step. It's kind of like our pre-step to get ready. If the A value is not one, then you divide everything by the A value. Then you're going to write a plus leave a space in the C's spot. Then divide the B value by two. Then square the answer from step two and then write the answer from step three in the C's place. Let's go ahead and do some examples where we implement these four steps. So in our first example, we're being asked to complete the square of x squared plus 6x. Notice here that we have an A value of 1, a B value of 6, and we don't have a C value yet. And so that's what we're referring to with our A, B, C, and what do we need to do. So because our a value is a 1, we don't have to do that pre-step. We can step right into our first step of writing plus leave a space in the c's place. So let's go ahead and let's rewrite our equation, or our expression rather, and we're going to go ahead and put our plus leave a space in the c's spot. Because remember, this is where a's spot is, b's spot, and c's spot. We'll go ahead and erase that so we have a little more room. Okay, the second step is to take the b value, which we know is 6, and then to divide that value by 2. That's going to give us a 3. The third step is to take that value and square it. That's going to give us a value of 9. And the final step says to write the answer from the third step into the C's place. So it basically means that we're going to take this 9 and we're going to put it into that spot right there, just like that. And now we've finished completing the square, and this is our solution. Generally, when you are completing the square, it's also followed up by factoring. And that will happen in another video, so look for that video. Let's move on to example B. Here we have x squared minus 4x. So then we can locate our a, b, and c. We notice that our a value is a 1, and so we're able to just do our first step. So we can rewrite our problem. So we'll add our plus leave a space. Then we'll take our b value, which is negative 4, divide it by 2, giving us a negative 2. Our third step says to square that value, which then becomes the answer 4. Then our last step is to take that and write that in our c's place. Then we're finished. We've completed the square for that expression. Let's have you try letters C and D on your own. So go ahead and push pause and when you're done push play and let's see if you are right. So for letter C we have an A value of 1 which means that we're able to start to skip that A step. So we're able to drop to our plus leave a space. Then we'll take our negative 7 and divide it by 2. And don't let it worry you that it stayed a fraction. That's okay. So we're going to square that. And that's going to give us a value of 49 over 4 because, remember, so I'm just going to show this kind of down here, but this is like saying negative 7 squared over 2 squared, and that's how we get that 49 over 4. So we're then able to take that and write that up into our C's value, so 49 over 4, and we're finished. For letter D, we also have an A value of 1, which allows us to skip that A step. 
There will be another video where we'll go over what to do when our A is not a 1. For now, we've got our plus leave a space. Then we take our B value and divide it by 2. Again, it's okay that we have a fraction. We're going to take that and square it, which is going to give us a value of 25 over 4. Then we can take that value and put it into our C's place. And that is the solution. And so that is how you complete the square for an expression.